must be hard to see in those. Uh, maybe. You like, you like Cyclops from X Men. Except green. You have slime vision. All right, so because we got to go see that um, cutscene with the facts, we're no, we can't go up in the rankings because we have to deal with this challenger. And they really miss an opportunity here because we still have to go through a level to get to them. Yeah. As opposed to them going to challenge us, but oh well, gameplay concessions. I honestly wish that we got to see a cutscene of her running th to up th through our apartment just to get to us, but oh well. Yeah, that would be funny. You're in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I forgot his name. I think it was... Ermin Palmer already got to us. Why does this place seem familiar? Because this is the, this is the level from last time. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why are we back here again? Because she's a student. Also, over there, you can kind of see the wreckage from, um, the Santa Destroy robot thing. <laughs> I, Santa Death Parade, was it? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. I don't remember what Charlie's name was. You just said his name. Like, Charlie? That was his robot's name? Oh, oh, his robot is the Santa Death Parade. Oh, okay. Anyway, there's like no enemies until you get past here. At, at which point, you get jumped. Oh, yeah. It's kind it's of a up. it's kind of a jerk move, but it only deals one square of health, so it's not that big a deal. No, <laughs> dude, you shoved the sword up his ass, and he exploded. Yeah. I really like dark stepping. I just haven't really found any bosses I can use it reliably on in this game. But that's okay because Dark Step isn't nearly as useful as it was last time. So, um, this is the Peony. Ooh, a red lightsaber. Yeah. That's uh, badass. The Dark Step slashes are really slow with this thing. It's kind of hilarious. Also... Uh, the more ecstasy you have, the the bigger the the peony actually gets. So if you have full ecstasy, it gets ridiculously long. Um, dude, that sword is huge. It's like really long. It is, and we haven't even gotten full ec uh full um thing yet. Full ecstasy. How come? How come it shows that you're carrying two weapons on you? Oh, because uh, we're just holding them all at once now. We're just hot swapping them. Um, uh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, can I call you Travis the Great? Travis Ravenous? Cool hand, teasy greasy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I, uh, I've always been a fan. What? A fan? Of me? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I watched your fight with Charlie, too. Oh, you were hardcore. So cool. Oh, no. Oh, I feel really nervous. I think I'm gonna puke. OMG, I bet you hate girls who puke. Uh, never really thought about it. <laughs> Don't stare at me. You're staring at me. If you get me preggers, promise you won't ditch me, okay? <laughs> anyway, I wrote down all my feelings in a letter. Here, take it. Your, uh, feelings? So this is a love letter? Take it, take it, or I'll totally die. Okay, thanks. I could use a dose of innocence. That last fight got a little sick, even for me. <laughs> um, aren't you gonna read it? Huh? Read it? 
Now? Here? Yes! You have to read it out loud, just for lulls. I wrote a song dedicated to Travis the Great, so you read and I'll play it on my flute, okay? You're... you're joking, right? Read this here? Here we go. Get into it. To my dearest Travis the Great. Hi there, Travis the Great. I am the girl who loves you the most in the entire world. But in order to prove that I'm your number one fan, I need some kind of evidence. Because no matter how much I insist that I'm your number one, any other chick or bitch can approach you and say the exact same thing. That is why I've decided that I should become strong. By doing so, I knew that someday I'd be able to get closer to you. Putting my title as Travis the Great's number one fan on the line, I embarked on this path and ended up winning the National Student Assassin Championship. I really did my best. But you know, in hindsight, it was a cinch. I guess I'm just blessed. I could master in one day techniques that would take others years to do. Pretty awesome, right? And then I got greedy, a new urge, a vision, that just maybe I could win a fight against Travis the Great. Now my goal is to behead Travis the Great, therefore surpassing my hero. Oops, did I actually write that? It's kind of embarrassing, you know. Well, anyways, I've made up my mind. I made an oath. I won't be killed by anyone. I shall defeat Travis the Great in battle. Only then will Travis the Great become mine and mine only. Love, Travis the Great's number one fan, Kimmy Howell. Okay, so much for the dose of innocence. But you've got the bloodlust. I'm sure about that. Yeah, I'm legit and way tougher than I look. So, uh, don't hold back, okay? Because one mistake is all over. This is for real. <laughs> if you're trying to give me a headache, it's working. Now it's lesson time. Here we go. Get into it. So, I'm gonna just put this out there now. I'm really bad at fighting Kimmy. Um, usually for a while, I, I I completely forget her patterns and how to, like, approach her. So, I'm probably gonna lose quite a bit of health at start off. Also, she'll, she'll blow bubbles at you, and if you get hit, I think you're slowed down or something. I haven't got hit by them in a while, so I don't remember. Uh, she has like two different kinds of combos, and if you go into Weapons Clash, well, Weapons Clash. But if you lose it, I'm just gonna say this because I didn't lose it there like I wanted to. She's gonna knee you in the groin. Dude, she fights like Darth Maul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, not like, not like that when she does like her karate flips. <laughs> mm. So we can't tell we can't tell them the story. Oh, is it not appropriate? I mentioned it during the cutscene, because... No, the other one. Wait, which other one? Uh, well, you know what, you tell it, because I don't think I know what you're I don't... So, we went to um, a comic store, and in this little area, there was a store called Condom World. Oh, that. <laughs> and this old lady, <laughs> like, she's looking into this different store, right? It's well, not even a store, right actually. Now. It's like the abandoned lot or like it's a it's a building for lease so it's kind of empty and trashed in there and then she she looks at us and then she goes in <laughs> oh did she actually look at us yeah she like before she went in she like looked at us and then she went in and for, I just started cracking up for reference the only reason we were actually down there was because uh this guy over here thought there was a pikachu condom in the display window no I it was a dildo that was yellow. <laughs> it was a little yellow guy. I was like, oh, is that Pikachu? And then... No Pikachu. To my dismay. Why are you disappointed in that? I... It would've been cool to see, like, I thought it was like a, like a store that sold Pokemon stuff. Named Condom World? <laughs> I don't know. That would've been cool. Anyway, back to the game. You can see I've kind of got the pattern down, except I just got hit there, so maybe I didn't. 
Um, she's actually very content to just kind of stand there and just kind of go up to you if you're like a little far, but she won't really run all that much. So you can just kind of keep your distance for a little while. Um, I think the lower attacks are really good here because they have a little more range than high attacks. What's up with that effect when you swing your lightsaber? Like, it's like... It stays, not like when you do that, but like it stays in the air for a bit when you swing it. Oh, I like see See what I'm, see how, um, the heck's this girl's name? Chrissy? Kimmy. Yeah, Kimmy, I, I, how... I know what you're talking about. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of weird, but I like I like it at the same time. It's just, it's, it's, it, it's really silly sometimes, because like, I, remember the Nathan fight, like, when one of the yeah. cutscenes showed up and we were still in the middle of the room? It's still, our lightsaber was still there, but we were not. Yeah, I like. I remember like in the when when the first um, part of the game, not the first part, the second mission in the game. I thought you had like two lightsabers for like so, for a little bit, and I was, and then I realized it wasn't. I I want to dual wield my um, Camellia Mark III. Um, I mean the cover of the game looks like it um, shows that you can. Uh, we'll get we'll get into that mechanic later, much later. Or is it gonna be like in Kingdom Hearts where they only let you do it like once or twice in the game and then that's it? You'll see. Um, if, I, I think Kimmy's kinda easy to dark step, but you really shouldn't because the combos you can dark step hit in like a, a really wide arc around her, so you're just gonna dark step into an attack. And you don't want that at all. I also really hate that when she swings her thing, it just makes her recorder just like go nuts and I hate the tinny noise. I just really hate high-pitched noises. Like metal on metal. Yeah. Or like really creaky chairs. I don't like blackboard. I don't like when people put their fingers on blackboards. Oh. Touch blackboards. Why would they do that? It's so oh awful. Oh god, it hurts. I can feel it. I know. I I also really wish my school would go from blackboards to whiteboards, but Oh, they still use blackboards? Yeah, my school does. Oh, we beat her. Yep. This is a real fight, with real consequences, sweetheart. <laughs> Travis the Great. Screw this. I can't kill a co-ed. Come see me after you graduate, and I'll school you again. I guess you can say it's a thing for the ladies. What? I said, I guess you can say he has a thing for the ladies. I, I heard you, but I don't... What? Oh, as in he didn't want to kill her? Oh, I was just... It was a, a stupid pun. I don't, I think it went over my head. Oh, well. So, um, Kimmy is actually one of the bosses from, or the, one of the bonus bosses in the PS3 version, No More Heroes, uh, 1. Oh, is she really? Yeah, so now we're gonna get to fight her again. Oh boy. Mechanics are, mechanics are different as always. No more, Dark Step's easier to do. I'm still bad at fighting Kimmy. Some really like dark lips in this game. The shading is just weird in this game. Yeah. Somewhat appropriately, we get the Tsubaki Mark II around the time we actually do this fight. 
Um, I forget when you actually go, when you actually, um, fight her. I feel like it's after, what's his name, uh, Let's Shake. Who's Let's Shake? The big brain guy. And the guy, with the guy in the virtual boy thing. Oh. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is the suplex you would use if you managed to stun Kimmy. I just didn't manage to stun her at all in No More Heroes 2. Oh. Dark Stepping is actually useless here because she's got invincibility frames on her last attack. So, thanks, game. I feel like there were better bosses they could have used instead of Kimmy. Because she's not exactly an exciting fight. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know what's ahead, so I can't really be the judge of that, but... I, She's whatever. I can say there's probably really only one boss f that they put in as bonus that was actually any good. But we, we're not going to get to that one for a very long time. Are, like, all the bosses from No More Heroes 2 and No More Heroes 1? No, like I said last time, only, uh, like, five s specific ones. Oh, okay, then. That's I, well. I really think they could have, like, replaced, like, three or four of the existing ones, which is, like, almost all of them. With yeah. a couple better ones from No More Heroes 2. Because... Skelter Helter was boring. Nathan's annoying. And he's even more annoying to fight in this game because of mechanics. Yeah. Kimmy's just... She's she's not even that fun of a fight. She's just... Whatever. Like, I... It's cool and all. I like, I like her gimmick. How, like, her flute turns into a, a lightsaber. And she shoots bubbles at you. She hasn't even shot bubbles at you yet. I don't think she can shoot bubbles in the PS3 version, actually. I've never seen her do it. 